Last month, Tamar got on Twitter and announced that she was single. She said, I'm going through it. I'm single. I'm so mad at my life. My family is toxic. Y'all have no idea. None. The gaslighting is crazy. And I'm going back into treatment. OMG, I pray that my marriage can be saved and life can be spared. My family is awful. I should have never went back to Braxton Family Values. Never. But as of today, in a now deleted Instagram story, she is accusing her ex fiance of cheating on her. She screenshotted a young lady's Instagram page and wrote, Played in my face for a 25 year old. Shaking my head. All alone had a whole trump. I hate you, JR. She took it a step further and implied he's a pedo. She quoted Kendrick Lamar. Certified lover boy. You know the rest. And shout out to the info spot because they were able to screenshot these now deleted stories. So here's the young lady Tamar is accusing her ex of cheating on her with. We're going to get to her response right after JR's response. You know, I initially was going to take the high road in this situation and not say anything. But the reality is I cannot keep getting attacked. My character can't keep getting attacked. I can't keep being thrown under the bus because someone can't control their anxiety. And someone can't control these delusional thoughts about things that aren't real. I, I am in no way wanting to attack anybody. My purpose in, in my life has always been to protect. I haven't ran to social media every time something happened to me in that relationship. Because trust me, with all the receipts and all the things that have happened, I could have. But I chose to do what a real man does, and that is protect the person that I've been with. In this situation, I'll be very clear. I've been single for the last six months. We have been trying to identify what that looks like, closing one chapter and figuring out what it's like to be friends again. I've been very specific about my boundaries. I've been very specific about where we stand as friends. Go date anybody you want. I'm gonna date when I'm ready. I am emotionally unavailable to you and I'm physically unavailable to you. Now, birthday comes up, plans are put in place. Of course, I want someone that I consider to be family to be involved in that because if anybody knows her, she is big on birthdays. I don't lead people on. I'm very direct. Listen, if, if anything that you're doing or that you want to do comes with an agenda, I don't want to be involved in it at all. I don't want you to be involved in my birthday plans. I don't want you to come to Turks and Caicos. This is not a reconciliation time. Whatever you decide you're doing, it's because we're friends and because I'm still being involved in my son's life. I still would love for you to have a relationship with my children, but not to the extent that you make up these stories that aren't real. I went to New Orleans. I booked my room at Four Seasons on Booking.com and didn't realize that the card I'm using, which also ends in the same three last numbers, was tied to something that we booked several months ago. No harm, no foul, we're talking $900. Stop it. While I'm in New Orleans for a funeral, my really good 25 plus year friend who passed away, I spent time with his family. I extended my stay because I needed time to reset. So I get a call yesterday. Hey, did you stay at Four Seasons? Yeah, I did. Uh, in fact, I extended, I gave them my card and everything's good. Why, what's up? Oh, well, I got a call about some chick who used my card at Four Seasons. I said, that's not possible. This is funny. Ha ha ha. What, what are you talking about? Well, I thought we can friends, we can talk about it, but this is laughable. I didn't stay with anybody at the Four Seasons. I'm not seeing anybody. Didn't, wasn't on a date, none of that. If I was, you're my friend. What do I have to hide about that? Um, I'll just say cooler heads didn't prevail. And next thing you know, I'm on her story and I'm being accused of things which are just blatantly not true. Um, I have never led Tamar Braxton on. I never will, nor will I. There are people, hate the name drop, but hey, Carlos King, you got me involved in this. You're part of the reason why we became friends. Um, but I've been very clear about my boundaries. I've been very clear about wanting to have a friendship. But not to the extent that, yo, friends don't throw each other on on their stories and call each other out on stuff. Like, look, 
If there was a mix up with the card because of booking.com, yo, that's a quick fix. It's already taken care of. I've already contacted the Four Seasons and they've already issued a refund and they charged my card. It's that simple. Where did this random woman come in that you called a tramp? Somebody I became friends with on Instagram like maybe three days ago. It's just a reach and I'm tired of having to stay quiet and not defend myself. Yo, mental health is real and I understand how sometimes anxiety can get the best of us, but you just don't go on social media and start attacking somebody you say that you love, that you care for as a friend. And, and then you post pictures of you and my daughters together, but then you're throwing their dad under the bus. It's not cool, man. And uh, the unfortunate reality is I thought that I could be friends uh, and try to maintain some type of friendship, but I, I, that relationship is done. And I didn't want to come out and, like six months ago and be like, hey, I'm single again, because then people are like, oh, you're sassy. What? This is the reason why I did it last time, because of this assumption that I'm leading somebody on and that I'm cheating. I have never cheated in my life. Find a woman that will tell you I cheated on her. I'm not successful because I cheat. When I'm committed, I'm completely committed. Now, I'm not gonna go there. There's a lot more I could talk about. I'm not gonna do it because this isn't about revenge. This is about saying, hey, wait a minute. This shouldn't have happened. Picking up the phone and talking calmly and saying, hey, Jay, I got charged in my card. You stayed at Four Seasons. Okay, cool. But then you had to find a, a random narrative to go with it. It's, it's messed up. And, and the truth is now there's potential defamation behind it because I don't even know this person. Never met her in my life. Never even had a DM with her. Again, here I am defending myself because of all of these assumptions and all these internet bullies who don't have a clue. Not one thing. Of, to, they don't know nothing about me. The young lady in question, her name is Jay. She was pretty straightforward. After a few of Tamar supporters rushed to her comments to leave hate comments, simply put, she plans on suing Tamar. She added the tune, Astrotonic, I'm suing you, onto her Instagram story. And then this. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. JR wrote, JR, let it go. Show some grace. Well, sometimes grace requires defending yourself. I've always been accountable for my failures and spoken out about why they impacted me and other people. I'm not going to let a false narrative attack me my family and or the foundation i've worked so hard to protect on his instagram story he reposted some people are truly great manipulators they will lie cheat treat you poorly and somehow manage to make it seem as if it was your fault do not fall for it that is their character who they are and what they do be the better person and just turn walk away and do what's best for you grace in the morning mental health is real